Uh, this is a video response for Artisan Tony on your uh, looking for suggestions to get five guns so you can start rebuilding your, your collection. Uh, my first suggestion for a handgun is based pretty much on what your preference is. Uh, if you like a revolver, I've got a, a suggestion, and if you prefer, or if you prefer a semi-auto, I've got a suggestion. And I do have a preference between the two that I've got. Uh, if you're looking for a semi-auto, I'd start right here with the CZ-75. Um, it's a fantastic little gun. Um, I got mine a 9mm, although, as some other people have mentioned, I think if you're looking for a home defense round, maybe go, going with a 40 caliber would be a little bit better. But overall, this is based on the Browning High Power. It's proven over and over again. It's a service revolver, solid steel frame. Just fantastic. It's way more accurate than I am, and it's just a really nice gun. A lot of fun, easy to shoot. I uh, wouldn't want to probably go have to carry this if I was a non-duty police officer or anything like that, because it is a little bulky, but even still, it's just a nice, solid gun. My other suggestion would be for a Ruger GP100. This is a obviously a revolver. It's a 357 and or 38 special. Um, if you have a revol if you're interested in a revolver, I would suggest this. In fact, if I had to choose between the two, overall, even though we got the, the CZ first, I think this is a more fun gun to shoot. It's easier to shoot. Um, one thing on this, you can also have a choice. This is a six inch barrel. You can also get it with a four inch barrel. So if you're looking for something that's more home defense, a little more carryable, but this thing is just a blast. If you want to have something that's got a lot of power, the 357 Magnum, it's going to do you proud no matter what you want to do. Um, if you're looking to go out plinking, uh, the 38 Special Rounds are a lot easier to shoot and they're also a lot cheaper to get. But really, it's a lot of fun. This one we got for about, I think it was 475, 480. The CZ, that one was about 550 or thereabouts. Can't go wrong with either of them in my opinion, but I guess I could just kind of like shooting a revolver. Um, for your shotgun request, I don't have one right now, but I used to have a Mossberg 500 with the two interchangeable barrels. That was a five round magazine and it came with a medium choke barrel and a no choke barrel. Um, didn't do any sports shooting with it, but some of the little plinking around I did do with the choke, it was pretty, got nice tight groupings with it. Um, had a lot of fun shooting that. Also, I love running with the no choke. One, because you can run slugs through it and also the 50 caliber Sabre rounds. And I just, just a lot of fun to shoot that gun. It was really inexpensive. I think when it was on sale for $199 when I got it, but that's been a number of years, so it's probably around $250 to $300. Um, it's a Mossberg. I know some folks suggested the 800. I'm not familiar with that model, but I did have a lot of fun with the 500 and I miss having that gun. Um, next question you asked about was for rifles. Um, not really sure whether you care for a bolt action kind of long distance rifle or whether you're looking for semi auto. Um, since I know, I, or I assume a lot of people are going to be suggesting an AR 15 for the rifle, I thought I'd go a little bit different and suggest the Remington 700. Uh, I'm a lefty, or actually, I'm right handed, but I have to shoot left hand, lefty because of my eyes. Um, this is a bolt action. I got mine in 223 mainly because. I live in Southern California, there's not a whole lot of long distance shooting I can do, and also the, 20, the 223 ammo is just a lot cheaper. I'm kind of regretting not going with a 308 because I would at some point like to go longer distance shooting and at some point I do want to go hunting and a 223 isn't always appropriate or even legal depending on where you're going. But as far as an easy gun to shoot, um, this is the Remington, SPS, or Remington 700 SPS Varmint. Again, this comes in 223, 308. Um, I think uh, I think it might even come in Windmag. I mean, it comes in a whole slew of different uh, calibers. Um, because it's a Remington, it's been around forever. You've got all kinds of accessories that bolt right to it. Um, all kinds of pretty much any gunsmith that knows the salt on uh, bolt actions is going to be able to work on it. Tons of different stocks you can get for it. Just a really solid gun. And also the fact that the U.S. military based one of their cyber rifles on it. It also speaks pretty well for it. Last, I'm coming up with the fun gun. Uh, this is a semi-automatic. It's a rifle. Um, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be suggesting the AR-15 for that. Well, I guess I go a little bit more Eastern Bloc and suggest uh, an SK or an AK variant. Uh, this is the Romanian-made SAR-1. It comes with a 30-round magazine, detachable clip, and all that other good stuff. It's it's as an AK. It's an easy gun to shoot, easy gun to clean, tons and tons of aftermarket stuff on the market for it. Um, ammo is dirt cheap. I think AIM online I think has about 1,100 rounds of ammo for I think about 180 bucks, I mean, about 
15 to 18 cents around and you just can't beat that in that caliber. Uh, you really can't go hunting with it because a lot of states don't like you using semi-autos, but some places you can. But the gun is just rugged, durable, you know, it's an AK so it's not going to go anywhere. And lots of room for upgrades, modification, customization, whatever you want. Oh, and I forgot, you wanted a small bore uh, rifle for your son. Uh, one of the things I've been looking at was we have a uh, Mag Research 22. It's a semi-auto, nice easy gun to shoot. In fact, it only weighs about three pounds, but it's a little on the expensive side. And because it's got a carbon fiber barrel, it, it's probably not a kid's gun. It's just easy to shoot and really light, but just probably needs a little more TLC that I think you'd be interested in. Uh, what I've actually been looking at for some kids in the family is the Henry Model H001. It's a 22 long rifle, uh, lever action rifle, you know, like your old Winchester style. Uh, wooden stock, wooden foregrip on it. Just a really neat looking gun. I, I love, man, maybe the fact that I like a revolver a lot tells you I'm a little bit into the western style. But just a real fun gun to shoot. Um, obviously as a 22, it's not going to have any kick. Uh, it's gotten some really good reviews, solid reliability. Um, just easy, fun. I think it, it's even got a possible for a scope mount if you wanted to do some more precision shooting with your son. Just an easy gun to shoot, just a lot of fun. So there's my suggestions. I uh, hope you enjoy them, and I'll send you a private message uh, detailing what all these are. Good luck and have fun.